Threat number two. Frederick, the king of Prussia, had an army of 80,000 soldiers. The infantry made up 62.5% of the army. So 62.5% of 80,000 is going to be uh, 5 by 8 of 80,000. So this is going to be 50,000. Every soldier in the infantry was killed in at least one of the following weaponering, field craft, continuous actions and immediate actions. It is known that more than 70% of infantry soldiers who knew weaponering also knew at least two more skills. The number of soldiers killed at each different possible combination of skills was a single digit multiple of 1000 with only one combination being zero. 80% of soldiers who knew field craft also knew weaponering. The number of soldiers killed at each of the four skills was equal. So because of the fourth statement and we are talking about four uh, of the skill sets. So out of 50,000, we know that uh, it's uh, one fourth is going to be their minimum. So we can say that this is going to be uh, greater than 12,500, uh, which is one fourth of uh, 50,000. Because we know that uh, they were equal and overall it's 50,000. So we need to be, uh, we, we will definitely have more than 12,500 for each uh, skill set. Next, the soldiers who knew exactly one skill out of the four were individually less than 10% of the number of soldiers who knew weaponering. 40% of the soldiers who knew weaponering did not, didn't know continuous actions. For field craft, the number of soldiers skilled at the eight different possible combination of skills was a distinct whole number multiple of 1000. Soldiers who knew only weaponering and continuous actions were less than so we have, um, you know, a few more statements and then finally we have any multiple of 1000 includes 0. So this looks like a set theory question with a four set Venn diagram is required. So a four set Venn diagram is of the type uh, where we draw two vertical fingers and two horizontal fingers. So something like this. Now, uh, let's uh, write down, uh, let's read the statements and understand. So, if we say that uh, the total number of people who knew weaponeering, because uh, that is the first part. So, let's call this as an X. Then what all things we know? Then the, we know that the people who knew field craft is also X and the people who know uh, continuous actions is also X and we know the people who like immediate act reactions is also X. So this X is uh, going to be greater than 12,500 as we have already seen and it should be less than 50,000. Now uh, using this latest let's try to find out uh, what all further things we can write. Uh, using the third statement, we can say that 80% uh, of the soldiers who knew field craft also knew weaponeering. So we are talking about uh, H, I, L and M. So we will have H plus I plus L plus M. This is going to be uh, 0.8x. Then... Uh, We can say that uh, A, B, D, E, they will add up to give us the remaining point to X. And we can also say that uh, J, K, N and O will also result in point to X. I hope this part is clear that if this add ups to give us 0.8x, so this remaining part should give us 0.2x because overall for weaponeering we have got an x and similarly for field graph it is overall x so this should be 0.2x as well. So these are the three initial equations that we get using the third statement as of now. Now if we read second and uh, seventh. Now the values of x uh, can be a maximum of uh, how much? 
Since it was a single digit multiple of 1000 with only one combination being 0, so we are looking at 0, 1000, 2000 and so on up to 7000 and we are talking about each having different possible combinations. Since there are 8 such values, the overall is going to be 28000 here. And if you look at 7th statement, we are talking about for the field craft, the number of soldiers killed at 8 different possible combinations was a distinct whole number multiple of 1000. So, we can say that uh, they can be from 2000, 3000 and so on up to 9000. If we add all of this, this is going to give us 11 into 4 which is 44,000. So, from here we can conclude that the uh, value of x within this range can be simplified that x has to be greater than uh, 28,000 and it should be less than 44,000. Now, since it has to be in multiples of uh, uh, 1000, each combination, so x can take only the values which is 30,000 and 40,000 between them. So, x is going to be either 30,000 or it's going to be 40,000. These are the two possible values of x that we can have. So, let's take x is equal to 40,000. Let's start with the largest one. If x is equal to 40,000, we will have this equal to 32,000, 0.8x. Now, if we look at h, i, l and m, they can have a maximum sum of 30,000, right? So, 32,000 is not possible. So, this 40,000 is eliminated. That means, x is definitely 30,000. If x is definitely 30,000, so we are looking at uh, the value of uh, um, h, i, l and m is 8 into 30 which is 24,000. Now, 0.2x is going to be 6,000. Okay. And ABDE is also going to be 6,000, of course. Now, J, K, N and O, if it's 6,000, so that means the values of J, K, N, O is going to be obviously among 0, 1000, 2000 and 3000, no other multiple of 1000 and 4 distinct values will ever add up to give us 6000. So, this is going to result in these 4 values. Which one is 0, which one is 1000, we don't know as of now. But J, K and O, they are going to take one of these 4 values. Now, if I look at 24000 as the total sum for H, I, L and M, so, the uh, average is going to be 6000. So, we will have to take one less and one more. So, for H, I, L, M, we can have uh, 4000, 5000. Uh, we can increase it by 7000 and then we can have 8000. So, that 6000 lies in between. So, on an average, it's 6000 overall. Or we can also change this uh, uh, 7000 to 6000 and then 8000 will increase by 1000. Or we can have 4000, 5000, 7000 becomes 6000 and 8000 becomes 9000. We can't go below 4000 because 3000 is already taken into account. Okay. So, in order to save some space, let's uh, write down this as uh, 1000, 2000 and 3000 in any order. So, HILM also we know what... Uh, are the two cases in any order and for J, K, N, O as well. Now, let us read the next statement. 40% of the soldiers who knew weaponeering did not know continuous actions. So, we are talking about A, D, H and L. So, we are talking about this particular portion. So, this portion will add up to give us a plus D plus H plus L. This is equal to 0.4x. Okay, let us write it a little clear. And uh, this is going to result in 40% uh, of 30,000 which is going to be 12,000. 
okay so let's save some space here as well so 24,000, 6,000, 6,000. Now, since we know that ADHL is going to be 12,000, we can say that the middle part, this part will be the remaining, which is going to be 60%. So, the sum of these letters, uh, these are going to be B plus E plus I plus M, that will be 60% of X. Now, this will result in 60% uh, of 30,000, which will result in 80,000. Now, because of this, we can also relate this component because if this is 0.6x out of a total of x, CFJN will result in the remaining 40% of x because the value of each set is same. So, we can say from here that uh, C plus F plus J plus N, this is going to be 40%. So, this is going to result in another 12,000. Now, uh, let's read the next statement. Statement 1. More than 70% of infantry soldiers who knew weaponering also knew at least two more skills. So, 70% who knew weaponering also knew at least two more skills. So, we are looking at H, E, I and M. At least two more. So within weaponeering, we need to find out those particular regions which is a part of uh, at least two more skills. So when we say it already knows weaponeering and it needs it, it, it knows at least two more, so we can say at least three. That's the reason we have taken H, E, I and M and not D and L. Because if we take D and L, D is weaponering plus one more, which is immediate actions. So, as per the first statement, we can say that uh, H plus E plus I plus M is greater than 0.7x. And this 0.7x will be 70% of 30,000, which is going to be 21,000. And because of this, we can say that the remaining, which is um, A, uh, B, D, L, L, it should be less than 30% because the remaining for weaponeering is more than 70%. So this will result in A plus B plus D plus L is less than 0.3x, which will result in 9000 okay so we know a lot of combination of uh, letters or in the regions here now uh, we need to find out two such equations so that it results in something simple so if you look at a b d e and if we look at a b d l this will result in something so, if we subtract these two, we can say that L minus E is going to be less than 3000. Now, L minus E is less than 3000 and E is going to be at least 1000. So, from here, can we say L is going to be greater than or equal to 4000? So, this is something we get. Now, L, if L is equal to 4000, we will get E is equal to 2000 or 3000. But if L is equal to 5000, we will get E is equal to 3000. Now, if E is because we will get E is equal to 3000 because if we take E is more than 3000, suppose E is 4000. If E is alone 4000, then the sum of ABD will be less than equal to 2000. If E alone takes 4000, so in ka sum to 2000 over. Yau se kam. Now, if we take the sum of three numbers, which are multiples of 1000, and their sum is 2000, that means you can't take 0, 1, 1, because we need distinct. It means it will be 0, 0, 2, which forces us that two of the regions will have 0. So, we can't take E as more than 3000 here. So, that's the reason we need to stop E at 3000. Okay. 
if this happens so from abd if e is equal to 2000 that means uh, a plus b plus d is going to be 4000 and if e is going to be 3000 then a plus b plus d is going to be 3000 so these are the two possibilities for 3000 we would know definitely 0 1 and 2 for 4000 it's uh, 0 1 and 3 in any order let's read the next statement Statement 8. Soldiers who knew only weaponeering and continuous actions were less than the soldiers who knew only weaponeering and immediate actions. So from here, we are talking about D, which is weaponeering and uh, continuous actions. And we have got uh, weaponeering and immediate, sorry, this is weaponeering and continuous actions is B and weaponeering and immediate actions is D. So as per statement 8, we can say that uh, B is less than D. Now, if B is less than D and uh, A, B and D from here can only take uh, thousand thousand and two thousand combination so that means a plus b plus d is going to be four thousand isn't it so because b plus d is there so this results in a plus b plus d is equal to four thousand and uh, we also get that a is going to be thousand and b is going to be thousand and d is going to be two thousand so this is the only combination that we can have okay once this combination is done um, that means e is going to be two thousand so e is going to be two thousand so this three thousand will not work that means l is going to be four thousand Right. So let's simplify the length. So this is 4000, this is 1000 and this is 2000. Okay. So L is going to be 4000. If L is going to be 4000, so we can say that um, A and D is thousand and two thousand so thousand and two thousand in this particular equation is three thousand plus four seven thousand that means h is going to be five thousand okay now we know the value of h and l so that is nine thousand so i plus m is going to be the remaining uh, fifteen thousand so i plus m is going to be fifteen thousand from this particular equation now okay next h e i m we know the value of h as 5000 i plus m is 15000 so that's 20000 and uh, that would mean um, Okay, we, we won't be able to calculate I because it's more than 20,000 we need. So it could be 2,000, 3,000, it can be anything. Okay, there is one statement that we are missing as of now, which is statement number 9. Soldiers who knew continuous actions and at most one more skill, except field craft, were at least 40% of those who knew, who knew weaponeering. So we are looking at uh, B. Soldiers who knew continuous actions and at most one more skill. So that is uh, two skills except field craft. So continuous action is allowed and then uh, C is allowed because we need at most one more. So that is exactly one or two is what we are looking at. Field craft is not allowed. So we will have next one as F. 
So B represents weaponeering and continuous actions only, C represents only continuous actions and F represents continuous actions and immediate actions only. So one and two combination. So as per these three, we have where at least 40% of those who knew weaponeering. So we know that X is 30,000 right now. So this is going to be greater than equal to 40% of uh, 30,000, which will result in uh, 12,000. Now we know that B is 1000. So this will mean that C plus F is going to be greater than equal to 11,000. This is using statement 9. Okay, let's do one more thing. Let's replace X everywhere by 30,000 because we know that already. So weaponeering is 30,000, continuous actions is 30,000, immediate actions is 30,000 and field craft is also 30,000. Okay, uh, let's look at C plus F. This is greater than equal to 11,000, right? So if C plus F is greater than 11,000, let's say, then J plus N will become zero. But we can't have two values which is 0. So that forces us that C plus F has to be 11,000. That means J plus N has to be 1000. Right? Okay, we'll come back to J plus N later on. Now, uh, the next statement is statement number 5. The soldiers who knew exactly one skill out of the four were individually less than 10% of the number of soldiers who knew weaponeering. So exactly one. So exactly one would mean C, G and O, right? They were less than 10% of 30,000, which is 3,000. So we know that C, G, O will be less than 3,000. So C has to be 2,000. So C turns out to be 2,000. And uh, if C turns out to be 2,000, F turns out to be 9,000. We know two more values as of now. Now, what about G? G can be 1000 or 2000, right? So as of now, we can have G is going to be 1000, as in 1000 or 2000. So we don't know surety about uh, G's value as of now. Now, uh, let's look at... Uh, CFJN equation. Okay. Mm. We know the value of CS2000, value of FS9000, so J plus N is 1000. If J plus N is 1000, so that means J and N can take values uh, between them as 0 and 1000. So we don't know the exact value of G of N as of now. Next is uh, we know that the value of J, K, N, O sum is 6000 where J plus N is 1000 and uh, so that will mean O plus K is going to be 5000 from this particular equation. Okay, since O and K, uh, we know that they are different, right? We knew already that it's for between 0 and 1000. So we know J and N, they are going to take 0 and 1000. So O and K may say one will take 2000, another will take 3000. So, okay. Right, O is going to be less than 3000. So that means O has to be 2000. So O takes 2000 and uh, K takes 3000. Since uh, J, C, G, O, they each were less than 3000. So let's put in the values, which is uh, going to give us O is equal to 2000 and uh, K is equal to 3000. So we know the values of two more letters here. <laughs> Let's count how many letter values do we know? We know the value of A and B. Then we know the value of C. 
uh, we know the value of d we do we know the value of e as of now e yes we know the value of e we know the value of f do we know the value of g okay so g is uh, a, a combination either thousand or two thousand do we know the value of g h yes uh, i i i no we know the combination of i and m i we, we have not found it as of now okay uh, do we know the value of j uh, for j no we don't know that we do know that j plus n is going to result in 1000 whether it is 0 thousand or thousand zero that combination is not known do we know the value of k yes do we know the value of uh, l yes 4000 do we know the value of m uh, no we know the sum to be 15 okay uh, do we know the value of n n n did we find out n yes it's from j plus n right so n is there so we have got i m n do we know the value of o Mm, yes 2000 okay so we know the exact values of some of the letters we don't know the values of a uh, few of the letters so we will put in the values in the venn diagram and then we will look at the questions now question number six what is the maximum possible number of soldiers who have all four skills so if we need to maximize this region which is i we will have to make sure that we will be taking the least value the immediate action overall is 30 out of which we have 9 plus 1 10 5 plus 2 plus 3 is another 10 so that is 20 plus 2 22 so the minimum we can have is 8000 so the answer is going to be option c question number seven for how many of the 15 possible combinations can we definitely find out the number of soldiers killed in that particular combination? So we know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So we know the definite values only f at 10 regions. Question number 8. What is the minimum possible number of soldiers who knew exactly 3 skills? Since we need to minimize these four regions, which represent exactly three skills, uh, we already know that this is 5 plus 2. And if we need to minimize, let's keep the next one as 0. So that means we will have to maximize this region, which is all four. If you want to maximize all those four regions, that means we'll have to take the minimum of the others wherever the, we have a combination so between one and two of g letter we will take one so if we happen to take that we have as of now two plus two plus one is five five plus five is ten ten plus uh, twelve is uh, twenty two so maximum is going to be eight thousand so that means the minimum we can have is seven thousand here so the sum is going to be 7. So this results in 7 plus 7, 14,000. Since it's a theta question, we're supposed to type in 1, 4, triple, 0. We could have also used the answer from question number 6, where we have already found out the maximum is going to be 8,000 for the all region and continued with it. Question number nine, how many of the following three statements given below are necessarily true? Statement A, the number of soldiers killed at continuous actions and immediate action skill was the only combination with the highest number of soldiers. Well, this may or may not be true. Um, 
because if we try to maximize this we can also have so we will have to check between i and m right so suppose if you take 9000 plus 2000 plus 3000 plus 1000 plus 2000 plus 2000 plus 5000 so let's add all of this so this is 1024 so this, this is 6000 so that means this can be 9000 so m can be 9000 so it's not necessary that this region is the highest even m can be equal to it so statement a is not necessarily true okay next statement b the number of combinations with thousand soldiers was four well the combination with thousand soldiers is one two it may definitely we will have uh, you know one among these two so that is three it may be three or four so statement b is not necessarily true statement c zero soldiers were present in one of the common combinations of field craft uh, so we are looking at field craft and continuous actions so between these two we are pretty sure that one of the letters j and n is definitely going to be zero because the other one has to be one so this statement is definitely true so only one statement is necessarily true the other two are not so option b will be the answer question number 10 what can be best concluded about the number of combinations that had two soldiers present in them? So, 2000 soldiers present in them are 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. So, it can be either 4 or 5. So, option C. 